So I was sitting around reading one day and I saw that you need to limit the number of write cycles to the Arduino EEPROM because it has a finite life. The author suggested 100,000 writes, but said that you might be able to stretch it to a million. So I decided to stop what I was doing and put that to the test. So I went to my computer and wrote some simple code that went through and wrote to the first 256 bits of the EEPROM, I would write all zeros and check it to make sure that I had all zeros and then I would write all ones and make sure that I still had all ones. And if at any time I didn't get what I was expecting to get, then I knew that there was some corruption on the EEPROM and the thing would stop and fail. So I took a brand new Arduino Nano clone out of the package and I pasted the code in the Arduino IDE and uploaded the code to the board. Then I plugged the board into a separate computer where I could keep an eye on it. And it turns out that the sketch runs at 69 times a minute. I thought I'd be there for about a day, but it was a bit longer. It turns out that the thing ran for 42,294 minutes, which is just over 29 days. And that is 2,918,286 writes before the thing conked out. The next thing I wanted to see is if this was just some kind of blip, so I rebooted the Arduino and let it run and I got 284 writes this time. I rebooted again, I got 90. I rebooted again, I got 10. And I rebooted it one last time and it died on the first write. So I think it's safe to say I've successfully killed this Arduino. So while I proved I can kill an Arduino, I did not prove that my results weren't just a fluke. So I decided to write the sketch one more time, except instead I'm only writing the first two bits, as you can see here. And uh, when I uploaded this code, it wrote at 33 times a second, and I killed this one in 5,609,206 writes. And when I did, I killed it for good. The Arduino does not function anymore after this 5 million write cycles. So how many times can you actually write to the Arduino EEPROM? In my experience, way more than a million, but obviously your results may vary, and I don't recommend anybody do this in real life. But if you want to do the experiment, feel free to use my code and let me know what kind of results you get. Also, don't forget to pour one out for the two Arduinos that gave their lives in the name of science. So subscribe, hit the bell, and thanks for watching. Have a great day.